Hello everyone, welcome to this From Maya to Unreal Engine Vertex Animation Tutorial with our Ecotails Hippo Ambrosia. I'm gonna take her from Maya into 3D Studio where we have our script which we can use to export vertex animations. First up, I've just added an end cloth modifier to our Hippo and now I'm gonna turn on a plane so that when she reaches the floor she'll just crumble down onto it. Now, let's play this through. And this is what she's going to look like when she turns into a cloth hippopotamus. What we need to do next is just go to our cache and create a new cache. By the way, I'm using all of the default settings for both end cloth and end cache. And now we watch this again as she crumbles down and the cache is created for us. So as you can see, the cache has been created. and Next up, we're just going to go to Export Selected and make sure that in the FBX selection box you tick Geometry Cache Field. You also want to select the default object set. Now I'm just going to replace my old FBX file. Let's jump into 3D Studio. These are the XML files and the actual point cache that we're going to bring in here. So, since the point cache is in the same folder, all I need to do is select point cache like this, and it'll automatically be added like this inside of 3 Studio Max. Let's add a cloth modifier, remove gravity, and remove some of these other settings over here. Just make sure all of these things are unticked. We'll next go to group, and we're gonna select all of the vertices of Ambrosia. I'm going to make root. Let's call it bake. And uh, let's assign this to preserve because we want her to be preserved just as she is inside of the simulation from Maya. Next up we need to check our object properties for her and uh, we're going to select cloth and that's all we have to do at this point. Next we just simulate and as you can see, once again, we're getting the exact same animation that we got inside of Maya. But in this case, it's inside of 3D Studio Max. All right, great. What we need to do now is to just create the keys, which means that we're going to bake down this entire point cache into a editable mesh with baked vertex animations. So what you can do next is just click the link in the right hand corner to jump to the video that explains how to get this animation into Unreal. I hope you found this useful. Check out our blog at kginteractive.net and follow our game Echo Tales. And if you do that, you're sure to find a lot more interesting tutorials for both Unreal and Unity, as well as other 3D packages. Bye!